Next Saturday, 10 Bay Area firefighters and their support staff will finish a 3,000 plus mile bicycle journey from the Bay Area to New York City to remember the 343 firefighters that were lost on 9-11 20 years ago. The Beta Brooklyn bikers left the Bay Area August the 1st. They're raising money for victims, families, a number of charities, and making sure no one forgets those lost on that fateful day. I caught up with their team leader, retired San Jose fireman Daryl Sales, whose team was just outside of Pittsburgh and heading towards their destination goal, New York City. Feeling uh, actually really good. You know, we've traveled almost uh, 2,600 miles, 2,700 miles. And so the legs are pretty strong. And we've just kind of noticed uh, from about Chicago on, uh, even though it's a little more than halfway, uh, that there's kind of a new refreshed energy within the team, you know, and the communities that we meet, we're getting a lot of positive coverage. Um, and it's really kind of coming in from all over the place now. Can you give us a few highlights of the trip so far where, uh, where people came out to help or cheer you on? You know, the small towns all along the way through mid-America, you know, they call them the flyover states. And so there's not a lot of excitement there. And so having a group like us come through and being a part of their community and allowing them to be a part of this really turns out to be a big deal for them. And so, you know, we've had farmers or ranchers cook us meals and put us up. Uh, and then, you know, be able to share their stories about what happened on 9-11 uh, just makes it really memorable. You're about to uh, have a very memorable day. You're in Pennsylvania, um, not too far from uh, the Flight 93 Memorial. Tell us what that's going to be like uh, later today. Well, we had a, a, a little preemptive going into Medina, Ohio. Um, it was another highlight for us where we had this huge parade of fire trucks and police department who uh, led us through their town square. And unbeknownst to us, most of the town had come out to cheer us on as we went through and they led us to their 9-11 memorial. And what was significant about that memorial is the flight 93 had flown a path over Medina. And so as part of that, they kind of laid out a path around their memorial it kind of signified Flight 93. And so it just kind of really became that first step in us arriving in Shanksville at that memorial today. Uh, I know the, uh, the group is feeling the uh, preliminary emotions of that, knowing that, uh, that we're gonna be riding our bicycles up there. It's been 20 years. Uh, I know your message is don't forget, are you, uh, are you finding that people have not forgotten that day, 9-11? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you hear the stories of, I remember exactly what I was doing at that moment or that day, uh, whether it be sights or sounds or actions. Uh, and it's, it's awesome to be able to hear those stories and to be able to share. Um, every once in a while, we get somebody to say or ask, what is that 343? What does that number mean? And so it gives us opportunity to kind of open up and share that those were the firefighters that died on 9-11 in, in the towers, along with the other 2,900 and some odd people um, who you know, perished in those towers. What a trip. The Beta Brooklyn crew is followed by that trailer, which features an outline of the United States and the names of each of the 343 firefighters killed on 9-11. And talking to Daryl, it was almost like the Vietnam Memorial, which, which travels where people can see who passed. And a lot of people have come up to see family and friends that were on that trailer. And these guys aren't young. I mean, he's a retired firefighter and 3,000 miles on a bike is a long way. Right, so. I can't imagine the endurance that uh, requires, but good luck to them. We're wishing them all the best on that long journey.